Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Desert Sky Adventures. We are here at the historic Courthouse Square, which has been here for quite some time in the historic mountain town of Prescott, Arizona. And today we're going to be uh, going out on foot, checking out the little downtown area in the Courthouse Square, see what's going on. They are having an arts and crafts festival going on today, as you can see. So we're going to check that out as well. And all that's coming up right now. Prescott, Arizona is about an hour and a half drive north of Phoenix. And it's a place I often compare to Tombstone because it has a lot of history. Both Tombstone and Prescott were frontier western towns. They both have stately courthouses. They were both once home to Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp. But Prescott's just a little bit older than Tombstone. Prescott was founded before Arizona was a state back in 1864, and at one time it was the capital of the Arizona Territory. I love to compare the old pictures with how things looked then and how they look today. There hasn't been a whole lot of change to the buildings themselves. There are quite a few historical buildings around town, and we're going to see a number of them today. This building was at one time the Bank of Arizona and became what we know today as Wells Fargo. This was the first bank in the Arizona Territory and the longest running bank in Arizona. They closed this Wells Fargo in 1998. But my favorite historic building in downtown Prescott is the courthouse. Kind of reminds me of the courthouse from Back to the Future. But this was not the first courthouse in Prescott. The first courthouse used to stand where the Masonic Temple is now which the building was so small that it quickly became inadequate for the needs of the town. And so, in 1867, they built the second courthouse, which stands where the current courthouse is today. But despite its impressive look, it was actually fairly shoddy construction. It was often said that if not for the 800-pound bell in the tower, the tower would have blown right off the building. They did eventually demolish this building and build the new courthouse, which was completed in 1916. Courthouse Plaza is an area of town I just enjoy hanging out at. Even when it's a real busy day like today, it's still a pretty peaceful area. And the scenery is very nice. You can just kind of feel the history of the area, just hanging out around the old buildings. fountain in front of the courthouse was installed in 1910. They were doing some kind of Old West show today in front of the courthouse. I didn't really have time to check it out. We decided to grab some lunch at our favorite place in Prescott. This is the Prescott Brewing Company right in the middle of downtown. Easy walk from all the historical buildings and food is pretty good. The Hotel St. Michael sits on the end of Whiskey Row and it was built in 1901. It's still in operation to this day. This part of town is called Whiskey Row because of all the bars that used to be up and down this street back in the 1800s. In fact, it was dubbed Whiskey Row in 1883. Much like Tombstone, Prescott did burn down a couple times. So these buildings are from 1900 era, early 1900s when they started making them out of brick. But let's take a look around the little crafts festival that's going on and see what the vibe is out there.
What's it's happening? Happen. It's gonna happen right here. It's gonna happen? Yes, we're gonna have it right here. So you can probably help me too. Okay. All right. So what you need to do, it's gonna happen right here, folks. Okay. That's about a general statement. <laughs> yeah, it's happening right here. But I, I need somebody to tie my hands up. You know, I need somebody strong. You can me. You're gonna video this, sir? That's yeah. What I'm doing. And I need somebody now to tie my hands up, okay? All right, here. Take stand right in front of me there. I'll take these right there and tie them up. Wrap around a couple times. Hold tight. Just like that, yeah, that's right. Okay, now what I want you to do, I need two people to see that black area. Okay, hand Tim one corner. This is where it's happening. This is where it's happening, right here. Yeah. Right here, Tim. I see you tied me up. It says it's, it's, it's happening here, but I don't know. Tim, you really did a good job. <laughs> Tim, I don't know. Hey, you really? You don't do it, but I win the hat. <laughs> I, I hope so. Come on, you can do this. Uh, you can do it. Okay. Okay, no, I, I'm having trouble. <laughs> Tim, Tim, you've done a really you good job. You the wrong volunteer. No, could you, you did a good job. Could you, yeah, could you wave that over that for me? Once, twice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. And that deck of cards. You see that deck of cards? Sir, could you take that deck of cards right there for me, please? We're going to do a really amazing trick with that in just a minute. If I can get out of this suit. And just <laughs> Timmy did a really good job. <laughs> Tie me up here. I pull the cloth away so everybody can see. Pull, pull it away. See? see, I'm still tied up. Yeah. He's got me. Timmy, you tied me up really good. Okay, okay cover me back up. Right, cover me back up. Cover me back up. Now, I need you to wave that, that wand over one more time. Wait, 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 just for the record, this is where it's at. This is happening. <laughs> okay, wait, tell me one more time. Carrie, one more time. Do that again. Carrie, you can't. No, Carrie, <laughs> Carrie, you got to do it like that, okay? One more time. Okay. okay. I, need, I think you might get out. I don't know. Okay, though. Carrie, one more time. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Ready? Okay. Now, can you pull it away for just a second? Pull this away? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you're, but you were out. Uh, I, no, I wasn't. Yes, yeah, There's an illusion. Could you give Tim the corner again? Okay. Uh, Carrie, could you yeah. wave that over the top yeah. of it one more time? Yeah. Wave it, wave it. Yeah. There you go. Carrie's doing a good job yes, waving it, but I keep telling her she's got to do it this way. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Amazing. Now, I told you it's happening right here. It's right here. Come back here. This building here is the Prescott Post Office, which I didn't see a historical marker on this building, but after a little bit closer examination, I discovered this building was probably built sometime around 1930.
This building here is the original firehouse, built in 1894. And if you look closely, you can see which parts of Whiskey Row have burnt down over the years and which parts haven't. Let's cross the street and take a quick look at Whiskey Row. There may not be as many bars as there used to be, but there's still quite a selection. Also at the end of Whiskey Row is this little indoor mall. We'll take a quick walk through there. It actually leads us out to the lobby of the St. Michael Hotel, which we will be in in just a moment. And just up here, we have another historical location. This sign says that Pauline Weaver is Prescott's first resident, and he built his camp somewhere in this area back in 1863. I've been to Prescott quite a few times. One thing I've never done is visit the Charlotte Hall Museum. And I learned Charlotte Hall is not a place, but she was a person. Uh, long story short, there's a lot of history about Charlotte Hall, but she basically grew up on the frontier and wanted to preserve that heritage. So she opened up this museum in the 20s. Can you go in the governor's mansion?
dang. This is a pretty sweet pad compared to like Wickenburg's house. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> this building was erected on this site in 1864 when Prescott became the territorial capital because it was in Union territory. After all, it's a civil war. It took three months, cost $6,000, and initially you had three men share it the governor, his assistant, and a clerk. Uh, on this site, the governor had an office, a bedroom, they shared the dining room and the kitchen of the building for two years, excavated it, etc. And they had to replace the lower boards. And when they did this, this is the original building. This room was never a room. It was where the, it was open, and that's where they kept the horses. This is hmm. where the kitchen, which has disappeared, was. This is the Victorian version, and that's when Charlotte Hall is done. She kept the dormer because she was up, lived upstairs. But if you look in here, you see the only way when it was a duplex, if the governor wanted to go to the sitting room, he would always have to come through these rooms yeah. and go around. And vice versa, if he wanted to go to the dining room, he had to do this. Wow. So, in the boxes, and it says on the lid of the boxes what it is. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. See what they have in here.
Southern in Arizona, and my former home and office. I'm the voice of Judge John Howard. I lived in this old building back in the day when it was located just south of here, along Granite Creek and Hughes Flats, where Mile High Middle School is now. Manuel Irasari built this place during the winter of 1863-64. He traveled here from New Mexico and set up shop. It became the community hub and mercantile to the rabble of miners and gold seekers in the area. Boarding house in the area. She lived in the second room and did the cooking and feeding in the other. Pretty tiny. This is a really interesting museum. Probably one of the better Old West museums I've been to. Um, it's really cool. They got the uh, governor's mansion. This is actually the original grounds where it was built. And then a lot of these historic buildings were moved here after the fact. But it's pretty cool. All these old buildings in one place. You can come out and uh, check them out. And see what life was like back in the Old West. curiosities are found in the Prescott region. Dating techniques indicate they were built from 1100 to 1275. Why were these built? Perhaps because these people had no locks on their doors? Built for defense? For housing? For refuge? For ceremonial staging? Or maybe
Hello. Hello. Wow, this is nice. This is the home of John Fremont, fifth territorial governor of Arizona from 1878 through 1881. <clears throat> when Fremont was appointed governor, he was 65 and he had filed for bankruptcy, so he needed a job. He came out here with his wife and two adult children, and they rented this house for $90 a month from a local builder. When they moved in, they had a squad the family that owned the livery stable in Prescott in the 1870s. So they had all some of that, and we don't know. Be sure and check out the wreath over the fireplace. That's a Victorian mourning wreath. It's made from human hair. The lady in the picture is a relative of the builder of this house, William Z. Wilson. The other interesting picture in the room is this group of men. These are all authors from the 19th century. Seated in the middle on the right is Washington Irving. Seated on his left is William McLean Prescott, for whom our town is named. Interesting story came up about Mr. Prescott. A visitor asked if he could get copies of his book in the gift shop. The book <coughs> everybody was reading when they picked the name for Prescott was called The Conquest of Chinese Cook. They came in every day and cooked their meals for them. It's a real ice box on the left, uh, where you have a block of ice to where to keep the food cold. Uh, <coughs> this is uh, a very solid house. It's been moved twice from its original location. Uh -huh. When the Fremonts lived here, this was on the corner of Gurley and Marina, across from the Hacienda. This is much nicer than the other place. <laughs> Ever get any ghosts or weird things happening in here? Uh, no, we're not haunted. No? <laughs> <laughs> vehicle collection. Hi. That sounds pretty cool. Oh. Wow. So pretty. Welcome to the bachelor house. I see you got your selfie stick. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bachelor house. This was built in 1877 and moved here 
1974. Wow. That's the original location, about six blocks from here. open porches. Well, we've got just enough time left to take a little walk along the creek, and then we gotta book it over to Prescott Valley. So now we are in the neighboring town of Prescott Valley, and we are about to go inside the Finley Center real reason we came out here today. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this little look at Prescott, downtown Prescott, the historical district, and hope you come along with us on the next adventure. So until then, from all of us here, Prescott, Arizona, see you down the road.